Hello, everyone. My guest today is Stas Kulish. He is building a company called KarmaBot.chat, if you want to check it out. He grew up in the far eastern part of Siberia, studied computer science and nuclear physics, played in a band, got excited by the indie games making, and left uni to become a digital designer. Check. I mean, that is the hell of a bio. For several years in the early uh, 2000s, he's been working remotely, traveling and blogging extensively before that becoming a popular sort of mainstream thing, and then ended up in New Zealand today building KarmaBot. Stas, you ready to take us to the top? Yeah, yeah. Hi, um, I'm Stas. You just made the introduction. I'm uh, jealous. If people are watching this video, they see this big, beautiful mountain you're sitting in front of. You're in New Zealand right now. Are you going skiing later today? Oh, I, I, I tricked you. It, it's Chile, actually. I'm in Santiago, South America. And uh, yeah, this trip is about to be over. We go to London next week. Still on the move, still on the move. So what is your life like? I mean, you're, you're, you basically are building this Slack tool, which we'll get into in a second, but how many, like how frequently are you moving locations? Well, this particular year, uh, we have a child, so it's not really that often we change the locations, but this year was supposed to be the big adventure and we got into this and then COVID happened. Uh, so now it's a bit of an emergency situation trying to get back home. It's still trying to keep it funky. London seems to be good. And home is London, right? Oh, no, the home is New Zealand. Uh, we live in New Zealand. Okay, got it. Why, why, why won't New Zealand let you back in? COVID. <laughs> they, they, they beat it. They, they, so they won, and and they very, very, very difficult uh, with uh, in re- returning back. Is is really not that simple. Interesting. Okay, so tell everyone what does KarmaBot do, and what's the revenue model? Is it SaaS? Yeah, it is SaaS. Uh, it's a subscription model based on the use. Uh, what it does, it actually provides teams with uh, within chats mainly uh, with uh, the ways to praise and uh, share some appreciation and show some recognition between peers. So this was done before, obviously, on the web, but not on chats. And what we built is growing from chats back to the web, probably. From from like you you say chats chats like Slack and then it's growing to the web is that what you said? Uh, Slack and Microsoft Teams and actually Telegram, but we, we have several chats. We focus on this in chat uh, interface when people type in stuff, and this is this is new. This is new component to this appreciation uh, field. But what do you mean when you say you're growing from chat to the web? Well, uh, it means that when Expedia comes to buy this uh, tool, they are saying, yes, we installed this Slack and it's really, really cool, but not all of our employees are using chats. And do you have a web panel now that we can use with the login and password and stuff? We don't have it yet and we want to get there, but that field is crowded. So we basically approaching the problem that already exists, but from the different angle, from the angle of interface typing in chat. I see. Okay, that makes sense. And how much revenue are you guys doing today? Well, just yesterday we've hit uh, 200k uh, annual revenue. So that means 17,000 a month. Congratulations! That's exciting. How many customers? Uh, that would be uh, 233 paying teams, which translates in approximately 20,000 active users. So 20. And how do you define an active user? Well, they send karma then they send these uh, appreciation points to each other. That means that they are using the system. And what is that? So again, for people not familiar with your system, describe what karma is, explain how it works. Right, okay. Let's say uh, you did something great for me at work and I, instead of just saying thanks or uh, putting a reaction to this line of text that you shared with the team, um, I'm actually producing this kind of animated card that is being published on the public channel. Now, everybody knows that I'm showing my appreciation of your work publicly, and they may be also not aware of the stuff that we're working on. Now they have bigger visibility within the team, all sorts of perks, all sorts of perks. Yep. Okay. So good. So this makes sense. 233 people, the perks are growing. Uh, You just passed $200,000 in AR, which is $17,000 per month. Where were you a year ago in terms of revenue? Uh, 64, 65K a year. So three times less. So we're growing three times a year since we started. That's great. Have you bootstrapped or raised? Bootstrapped. Uh, we've got some minor, minor angel investment, but. Any plans to raise capital? Uh, we feel that we may look into that direction. It takes time. 
and it's it's time taken from the product building. That's my main concern because we are very small and trying to stay lean, it's actually difficult to raise. So maybe later this year, in order to get faster to the web version, we'll we'll do the fundraising again. <laughs> yeah. What's the le- what's the least amount of capital that if you had it right now, it would make your life way easier in terms of expanding faster? I think uh, 400 to 500K would be fine. Uh, and that would go mainly into the, like, explaining what we do now better, like the marketing bit, which is part, partly sales, and also expanding to the web. We need more resources to handle it. Um, but how much equity do you think you'd have to sell to raise $500,000? Um, that would be up to 10%. 10%? Yeah. Got it, got it. So you would you essentially would say, okay, I think I'm worth about 4.5 million pre-money, raise 500 grand, 5 million post on a $200,000 AR company? Yeah, yeah, the angel investment was based on the 5 million cap. So we want to stay reasonable within this range. I believe I, as a, well, I'm a founder. I really trust that this pro, pro, pro project is going to go well. So I believe it went, went up, but with COVID, around 5 mil. Yeah. I just wonder, I hate seeing founders giving up equity. The most dilutive round for most founders, there's two times. It's when you agree with your co-founder, how much you're going to split. And the second is your, like your first round of funding, like this one. I just wonder if there's a way for you to get some capital without getting so much dilution. Well, that would be great, obviously. And to this day, we've, we've been very uh, careful about this. That's why all the equity is still with us, apart from the angel uh, tiny portion. I would scale with you. If you go to founderpath.com, SaaS founders are taking money from that site super fast. I mean, I would I would do something, depending on your metrics, like 50 grand now. And then if you want another 50 grand in three months and another 50 grand three months after that, I would do a deal like that with you. Yeah, we could try that. Um, I've checked out the website, by the way. I have an account there and it looks great. Uh, be, I was going to say, be honest. You don't have to, you don't have to say nice things just because you're on my podcast. You looked at the rates. I mean, what do you think? Uh, the site looks great. Uh, it, it's mainly about our data. The data that we provided, it's kind of messy because you have everything from our Stripe account. And the early days, they were messy. We used this account for other transactions. It's not 100%. And it would be great to have a way of editing this data. I know that you don't really want your founders to edit this kind of uh, information, but to make it cleaner, to clean it up somehow. So it's actually more representative of the true picture. Yeah. Um, Our platform is, yeah. Because of how you did sort of annual plans, are things not accurate? But yeah, the way the system works is you connect your Stripe, we then give you a credit score and then try and get you money fast. But I can... uh, because I built the tool, I can override it. So, um, so uh, we, we should, we should, you know, keep me in mind there. That's something I would definitely do with you because I think this is an interesting tool. But I will tell you this: I tried to install it the other day and have our community manager start using it in our Slack group. It's so difficult to figure out like how to get it started because there's the tech piece of installing you as an application inside Slack, but then there's the yeah. emotional piece. There's a psychological piece of what are the rewards and how do you tell your community about it. We totally understand that, and we work. Uh, I mean, just late, uh, earlier today, I did two demos. Yesterday, four demos. We speak to customers, and it they need to do so much work in order to make it happen for their team. But then it becomes their thing. We're not. We're not trying. This is how we're different. We're not trying to sell the pre-existing system that we claim is successful. We allowing people to use this tool to build their system, and that takes time, and it's difficult. And then, I mean. We're happy to help. And this is partially what we want to do with the fundraising money. Uh, this would be actually, you can totally see how we can spend that and uh, explain people how to, the best practices, how other companies did that. This takes time to just convey the message, you know? No? I do. No, so, I, agree. I agree with you. What's How many folks are on the team today? Uh, just six people. And uh, I, I think I mentioned before, it's, it's they, they come and go permanently. We have just four, including two founders. So How many engineers? Say again? Are you all engineers? Uh, no, not all. My co-founder, he's more of a business administrator, finances kind of person. And then uh, we have designers on the team, and two developers, one full-time, and myself, I'm like in the middle of it. I can code, I can do that. 
design is and, on. And how do you, I mean, when you look at your last 12 months of history, I mean, how do you think about churn? What was your, what's your annual revenue churn monthly or, or, or annually? Um, annually, I think it's 4%, uh, but that's, that's just a gain about the COVID, I guess I call it COVID churn, which is a made up churn, but this is kind of relevant. These days we see a uh, high churn up to three to uh, 5%, but actually annually or month, your monthly, uh, uh, the 5% we got last uh, month that was monthly, but just because of companies dying out, literally, they're not there anymore. And so the good thing about it, the ones who survived and who subscribed now, I think they are the survivalists and they will be staying there for longer. Yeah, I mean, Sas, I'm not revealing any private information here because you came on our deal, our new Shark Tank for SaaS show on YouTube and shared this, but I was shocked before COVID, uh, even during COVID, but shocked at how low your churn was. I mean, you were under 1% revenue churn per month, and then you saw a little spike to like 3.8% during COVID, but that'll come back. I mean, and I panicked. And I panicked. <laughs> it's a good thing to panic about, but also be realistic on, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And this is just to support my claim that this is a habitual thing. When it's established, it's there. It's really hard, difficult to pull out of the company culture. How are you? How are you signing up new customers? And and what do you think your CAC is right now? Well, uh, we don't spend anything on marketing just because we don't have anything, um, ex- any, anything extra. So they come to us through the stores. Slack has its own app store marketplace. Microsoft Teams has its own uh, marketplace and they just come organically. Uh, and we're trying to handle this flow uh, with uh, my co-founder doing demos and uh, the rest is just a self-service. How many new demos are you doing per month? Uh, I do seven to 10 a week. So that's 40, 100. 100? Yeah, you're doing, four, you're doing 40, of 40 a month basically? Yeah. About that, and, about that. and how many of those convert to a trial? I think the demos uh, that I do personally, and we do one-on-one, they convert like 10%. Uh, but there are still people who just register. They just looking around. This is 2%. So how many trials do you add per month across the whole company? Uh, during COVID, it was... Um, 1200. Now it's back to normal six, 700. So seven, 700 new trials per month. And then how many of those typically convert to? Yeah. Got it. Got it. So 10% would be seven. So 2% would be, they would get like between like, or sorry, 70. So you're getting like 20 to 30 new customers per month. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Interesting. And what do you know that you have to get a customer to do like in the first week that they use you to drastically increase the likelihood that they pay or stick? They need to, first, they need to send karma. Uh, that's like the first metric we want, uh, worked on. And that's why we have this uh, onboarding and stuff. You went through that. So sending karma is the item one and setting your company values for the rewards, like taking it one step further. The system provides you with the ways of like uh, company values, show you how you uh, use karma and rewards give you something back for this karma. So it's like uh, the next derivative out of this. And you have, I mean, when I look at your SEO kind of world, you have sort of an okay domain rate of 50, but you're not getting a lot of organic traffic right now from search. Why have you not invested more in search? Uh, in a way, we are, we have invested that. The, the rate is low uh, based on, I mean, it depends what you're looking at. Uh, there is a term, karma bot, and we completely occupied that. If you ask Well, I mean, obviously, those stocks, that's your company name. <laughs> no, it's not. It. Like, there is... It, it, had, it, it existed before we started this company. It existed on Reddit. It existed on generally on the internet. People are still looking for this. And when they look for this kind of product, which means basically points given for appreciation by itself. So that's us. And um, in terms of SEO, I'm happy with that. Uh, we can obviously improve it. Always. Oh, I guess my point is though, Karma Bot. I'm looking at your Ahrefs account right now. Karma Bot and Karma Space Bot. You rank number one for both those keyword combinations. Together, they drive you about 50 clicks per month. So it's it's just it's a drop in the bucket. It's not a ton. There are others like Microsoft Rewards Bot, which there's way more traffic potential there. But you rank number 16. 
for those things? Like why not double down under like Slack rewards bot and Microsoft rewards bot and get those to the number one rank? That's, that's a great question. We will, we may be, uh, that's just one of those things. You cannot double down on everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's a valid point. That's a fair, I mean, that's a fair answer. Um, and then help me understand. So in the Slack community, uh, I'm looking at the Karma Bot page right now. I mean, you, you, you've got it installed here. They, they don't have, I don't think they don't have like a review sort of process, do they? You mean reviews by the customers or review in order to get there? Customer. Okay, we gather customer reviews. We gather at uh, G2 website. So G2.com, if we search for KarmaBot, there will be a page with a brilliantly shining review um, set. And um, yeah, they, they don't have it on Slack. Have you done anything with Slack to try and get like their staff to add KarmaBot to like the staff picks list? I imagine that would drive you a lot of leads if they did that. They would, uh, but they have another product which they are big friends with. And that was one of those things like we go in head to head. Who is it? Uh, it's like it's a disco, disco bot, a uh, girl bot previously. So they were, they are in essentials. They are on the front page. We cannot like ask, we, I asked actually, it's like to, to, do, to put karma next to them, but it was counterintuitive. They invested money in this. They are part of the Slack fund. Oh. Uh, yeah, so we are still featured in the new and noteworthy. Um, we are not on the last position in the particular area. That's why we're still getting people from the store. But to be honest, it gets crowded. That's why we need to get out of chats in general and be, uh, get a bigger chunk of the market through the web. web. Are you profitable today? Yeah, yeah, we've been profitable since January. As I said, we keep in this very lean. Very good. All right, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book. Favorite business. I really like Blitz, uh, Blitz Scaling. Uh, you heard of that? Of course. Um, no. I was going to say, I think I have it on my on my bookshelf somewhere. Uh, I just read it. Yeah, it was a good book. Uh, number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Say again? Is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, not really, no. Uh, we're trying to stay indie and uh, be this indie development kind of studio. No, nope. so that you sound like a, a young Jason Freed. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. All so, right. So, no, so. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your company? Favorite online tool? Um, we like Stripe. Okay. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Seven, eight hours. Okay. And you said married with one kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old are you? My Seven years. How old are you, Stas? I'm 38. 38. Last question. What do you wish your 20 year old self knew? Uh, consistency is more important than just, I don't know, fun. Karmabot.chat, guys, enabling teams to reward teammates when they do nice things. Right now, starting in Slack and Microsoft Teams, they just passed 200,000 bucks in ARR. They've got 233 customers paying on average 70, 80 bucks a month. That's how they've grown. Uh, company launched. Uh, Stas, when did you launch the company? Two years ago, two and a half years ago. 2018 was a company launched it again, scaling nicely today, bootstrap basically and profitable, might raise 500 grand at a 5 million valuation later this year, early next to expand to a web-based version. Stas, thanks for taking us to the top. Thanks a lot. Thank you for the opportunity. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at NathanLacka.com 
forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.